Good morning everyone, actually good afternoon, what am I saying? <laughs> I'm on the way to City of London Magistrates Court for another phone driver. I caught him on the way back from Lavender Hill Magistrates Court uh, for a driver I'll link in the video description. Anyway, so I wonder why he's defending it. My guess is maybe he's a totter upper, meaning he's going to get to 12 points if he gets this conviction. Um, or he's got some kind of a plan to and discredit me or the evidence I'm going to give. Anyway, we'll see. Um, that's for those of you who are talking about stationary phone drivers being harmless. Well, when you see this video, I hope I can change your mind. This chap was using his phone while stationary and then driving off and really quite badly and distractedly. Um, well, you'll see in the video, so it's up to you. I'll uh, record another video when we're out of court and we have the results. Oh, and the chap is called uh, James Marvel, I believe, and I think he's the owner or CEO of Hattrick Productions and has been involved in quite a lot of comedy and other stuff on TV. I had some messages from the press last night about whether I was going to be there or not and whether it was my case. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, while well, I'm here now, uh, let's wait and see what happens. All smartened up, old school tie. I'll let you know the verdict when I come out. Delayed reaction, the swerve, the little what's up gap. He's carrying on with his phone. I knew it. Rude words all you have, huh? I don't dare to go in front of you. Because you look like the sort of person, or at least your behavior, indicates that you may not be very friendly. And I'm not following him. This is my standard route home. Smashed up uh, left near side mirror. Look at the sort of acceleration and speed he's doing. That was well above 20. So really quite a poor driver, I think, based on what we've seen so far. about going in front of him, but anyway. It's funny how these uh, drivers give themselves away. Yeah, I'm pulling in. 
I don't want to be in front of him. Don't want to be near him. That's the reason. Honestly, I don't think he'd be uh, following me. Oh, not that he's following me. This just happens to be a convenient commuter route. We're all supposed to wait for you. Luckily I'm turning right. I'm not following that oik. Alright, alright, good afternoon everybody. So I'm out of court now, it's pretty much the shortest um, hearing I've ever been to. I uh, just basically got questioned about what happened. The the defendants, Jimmy Melville, didn't turn up. Um, I guess he was, I, I heard he was worried about the press, I don't know if that's true. Um, the press had caught wind of this. They seem to Google all the names that turn up in uh, court listings and, and come to the famous people's ones. Yeah, so um, the defendant's barrister did turn up, um, Mr. Thomas, and he just kind of questioned me on how many drivers I've caught and whether I targeted this very nice Aston Martin that Mr. Marvel was driving. And the answer is no, I don't target anyone, I look for behaviours, and I didn't even know who Mr. Marvel was or um, that he was at all well known. Um, Anyway, the result was six points on his license. He apparently had three from some other offence. I think a speeding offence. STS 30? ST 30? I can't remember exactly. Um, and additionally, a, the, the legal assistant in the court mentioned that he'd been disqualified in 2020. So I wonder if that didn't have anything to do with the FPN that I got for this a driver of this vehicle, who I don't know who they were in 2019. You'll see that in the video as well. So it's not the first time I caught this vehicle. Um, yeah, also I'd point out that I didn't recognize the vehicle or the person in any way, even the second time I came across it. It's only when I got home and looked up the number plate, I was like, oh yeah, I caught that guy. Yeah, so um, anyway, the uh, one of the press photographers tried to get me to give a thumbs up um, when taking my picture here, and I didn't. I don't feel good about Mr. Marvel getting this traffic offence conviction. Um, I don't feel any good about any of the, the people getting this. I don't hate them, it's not personal. You know, it's just try and do better when you're on the road. That's all I'm asking for. It's not a good thing to be here. See you guys next time. Ruble, that's quite cool. That's a cool number plate. a lot like it, didn't it? Texting away. Dear, dear.